Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk all about data management and how to manage over 100 terabytes of data as a production company with multiple editors. It is definitely a system that we've worked on and taken a long time to develop. So every single project that we do, we always invoice for a hard drive or data storage or data management, and that might be a couple of hundred dollars per project. And we've always just put that money back into drives and slowly scaled to where we are today. So we're gonna talk all about the Synology 4017XS2 along with the RS1217 expansion units and how we use that in our studio to allow our editors, we've got seven computers all hooked up to this uh, NAS and every single person can edit the same project at the same time with over 600, sometimes even 800 megabytes a second read and write speed to the NAS. So what you're seeing here is a 16 bay server unit. This means that there's 16 drives installed in this unit. Every one of these green lights represents a drive that is installed and working. Above this bottom unit of 16, there is another 12 bay unit, which is the 1217 expansion unit. Now if we look at how this data is distributed across the network, we have a 10 GBE or 10 gigabit ethernet switch. This is connected to the NAS directly, and then we have every single one of our Mac computers connected into this switch. So on the computer side of things, we have a few new M1 Mac minis which have a 10 GBE built-in ethernet card already. So these plug directly into the server using a Cat6e cable. Some of our computers are older iMacs that don't have a built-in 10 GBE card. And for these computers, we use a Thunderbolt 3 to 10 GBE adapter, which allows us to plug our Thunderbolt 3 devices into the NAS using this adapter. So each computer currently is getting about 600 to 800 megabytes a second read and write speed from the server which is plenty fast enough to directly edit raw footage off the server and also the ability for multiple editors to be editing off the server at the same time is beautiful. The other beautiful thing about this particular NAS is that it's scalable into the future. So we're obviously going to keep growing, we're going to be shooting more projects and if we want to grow that data capacity, all we simply need to do is buy an expansion unit which is the RS1217 expansion units from Synology and install another one above the current server that we have and simply daisy chain them in and we have the ability to continually expand the current storage that we have without having to turn the server off, copy it to a new one or anything like that. We've got 100% uptime and we simply just grow the storage as needed. And finally, the last thing that is beautiful about the Synology system is that it has a really cool thing called Hyper Backup, which allows us to completely replicate this server off-site at a different location. So every morning at 2 a.m., this server is completely backed up over the internet to another server at a different location. And this means that every morning when we start a new day, we know that that last day's work is completely backed up off-site if anything happens to our server on site here. So that in its most simplistic form is the network configuration. There's obviously a ton of technology going on behind the surface to make this all happen, but essentially now that we have seven computers plugged into the server, we can really take advantage of DaVinci Resolve and the collaborative workflow that is built into DaVinci. So if you're familiar with DaVinci Resolve, you'll know that when you set up a project that you have to set up a database and often this will be a disk database which you set up on your computer itself. When it comes to collaborative workflows on a network, you need to set up a PostgreSQL database instead of a disk database. Now this PostgreSQL database will need to be installed on one of the computers on the network. All the other computers essentially reference this one computer that is organizing the database for the network. 
I'll be working on a more in-depth tutorial to actually explain all of this process in detail but just for this video we want to summarize what's happening and essentially we have one computer hosting all of our databases and then every other computer on the network is simply referencing that database. Now what we have is a network environment where every single computer is referencing the exact same project on the server which is being hosted from the M1 Mac Mini. And then every single computer also has access to the footage and all the data and the assets on the Synology NAS. Hopefully that's shown you how you can use a NAS to create a network environment and also provide some future proofing and scalability for your data needs. Just remember, data is the most important asset that we have as creatives. And especially if we're servicing clients, that data to the client is worth more than anything else in our studio. We can always claim insurance on our cameras and our lighting and our computers and the hardware. But if we lose the data, that's the stuff that's irreplaceable, especially if you're telling stories where the content is valuable in a way where you'll never be able to reshoot it. So just make sure that you're accounting for data backup and data management within your studio or your creative workflow because it will pay for itself many times over throughout your career. Please like this video, hit the bell notification and subscribe for more awesome videos like this to come.